Hi and welcome to the bottle flip game in Scratch. I'll be teaching you how to make a bottle flip. So I just made the bottle flip. So first you gotta make two variables called y velocity and flip. So I'll just wait for you to do that. And then you grab a one space key pressed. And it doesn't have to be space. Whatever you want. It can be whatever you want. So it could be whatever you want. But then instead of um, every part where it says key space pressed, you put in whatever you have right here. And just so you know, you have to have your bottle faced sideways in the costume, but not right here. So first of all, you grab a that, then you grab a go to looks, grab a go to front layer, and then you grab a go to motion, grab a go to, And go to zero negative sixty six. So that's where it's gonna go. So you can just play around with it, but then everywhere it says negative sixty six, you gotta put whatever you have right here. So then you gotta grab a point in direction zero zero and then set y velocity to zero oh and just so you know this is a flip variable it shows how much flips you've done but it's going to show how much flips you've done so you put set y velocity right here and then go to control, grab a wait until key space pressed. This makes it so it doesn't do anything until you press the key, space key. Well, both of these make it so. So if I press the space key, it starts it. But it doesn't do anything yet. So we gotta make it so it does something. And that'll take a little while. So go to variables. Grab a set y velocity to 15. And then you go to control, grab a repeat until. Go to operators, grab a lesson. So whatever, you're, you're gonna have to put whatever you got right here in here. So I'm just, since I did got negative 66, I'm just gonna write that right there. And right here, you gotta put um, Y position. So go to motion. Grab a Y position and then you got to get change Y by change Y by Y velocity. Y velocity is short for Y vel. That's why I wrote that. So, then you go to motion, grab a, turn this way, 10 degrees. So right now, basically it doesn't really do anything. It only does this. It just stays in the sky. But now, we're going to make it go down. 
so gotta grab a if else statement. Put it right about right here and grab a key space pressed and it has to be whatever you put right here and this has to be whatever you put right here so I put a key space press right here and right here so I'm just gonna do key space pressed so you change y velocity by change y velocity by um, 0.5 duplicate this put it in here and instead of this you put in a instead of 0.5 you do negative actually that's negative 0.5 and this is going to be negative 1.25 so then right below that we're gonna go to control grab a if else statement right there Grab a, go to operators, grab a less than, go to motion, grab a, let's say, direction, and if direction is less than negative 45, set flipped so this makes it so if you um make the wrong flip it's not it's not coded to make the wrong flip i'm pretty sure well it flips it goes down now but it never lands only if you do it perfectly and that's not how bottles work yeah i just made a land it, but it's making it so, if you, it's, this is going to happen in the future, so it makes the flip set to zero, I'm pretty sure, maybe not, but I'm very sure this sets it to zero after, whenever you don't make it, so this is going to happen in the future, but this is going to be a big coding that has all the how it goes down how it makes it and how it goes down and up so let's just make it so it does that so let's go to point grab go to motion grab a point in direction of 90. oh so this is how you fail so it sets flip to zero this is how you fail and is that how you fail and it'll just literally make it go sideways and it'll change your flips to zero and your flips is going to be how much times you've done it in a row so if you miss it then all your flips go away so just and then grab a go to Let's just say negative 79. Else. Else is going to have a lot of coding in it. I'm just telling you that. So you put in another if else statement inside of it. Inside of the else. And the else is whenever you make it correct. Whenever you flip it and it makes it. So, if else, so go to operators, grab a and, put it in here, 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 put it in here,
put in here and then grab a less than and a greater than put the less than in here and the greater than in here and just grab a direction I'm just going to duplicate this direction you don't have to duplicate it but I just wanted to do that to go faster so right here you're gonna put oh and I forgot so this is pretty I think this is right now in the if else statement a few things are its difficulty I think this is the difficulty this is the amount of difficulty it is so this is zero and this is 46 so if it's in between or equal to these and if it's greater and in, and less than so in between these then it'll make it but if it's not we're gonna put it in the else so there's a few coding in a few places if you fail so let's just keep on going go to control grabby repeat until and put it right here so this is gonna be like it turns all the way back so whenever it makes it whenever it's barely tilted it'll just kind of glide back here but you can't just glide it like go to motion and glide it you can't do that it won't work because it's a gliding you can't glide it through a position so we're gonna have to make it so it keeps repeating until it's perfectly up so you grab a um you gotta grab a Um, less than symbol and we're gonna write one in here and grab a direction put in here and turn three degrees left three degrees left in so it keeps, oh, so if it makes it, it keeps turning. Oh wait, I already knew about this. So if it makes it, it keeps turning. If it makes it, but it's like tilted the right way, it t keeps turning left back to normal. If it's tilted the left way, then that's like probably, it's somewhere in the coding box. I forgot where it is so we're just we're not gonna try finding it so so this is where it, whenever it tilts left and it keeps going right so let's make it so let's just keep doing the coding so inside of this we are still gotta you gotta so go to motion grab a point in direction zero Put it right here. And remember what I told you, it, your costume has to be tilted like this, but the coding makes it so it faces this way. Um, so you change, and then go to variables, change flip by one. Oh, now I remember. Actually, we still haven't put in the coding for the whenever it tilts right, but we are in the else statement right here. And this is it changing the flip. So if you make it, it'll change the flip by one. So if you make it left, it'll only give you a point if you make it left. And it'll only come back if you make it left. So let's make it so it comes back where you, whenever it's coming right because I mostly make it coming right. So grab a go to. 
Go to motion, grab a go to. Go to. Now to give 66, whatever you put um, in all the other places. So then point in direction zero. Point in direction zero. And then zero is faced up, so. And then you gotta grab change flip by one. So this makes it so if it lands on the right side, it's gonna change your flip. Flips. It's gonna give you flip. And then I think that might be all for this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and um Make sure to like this video and make sure if you have questions, ask them in the comment below. Let's just test it actually. It works. Let's try failing it. It fails. So if you have any questions, write them in the comment below, and have fun coding.